Hey, how is it going? Today, I will show you how to jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick so you could download a lot of free apps to your device, the ones that are not available in the official Amazon App Store. Jailbreaking your Fire Stick is a pretty easy job. First of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. There is a high chance that you already have it on your device. And if you do, then just skip to the next part of this video. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you're not sure if it's properly set up, then watch this part of the video as well. So to get the loader, we'll have to go to search on your Fire Stick, click on that magnifying glass here, go to search, and start typing the loader here. Usually it doesn't require you to type in the whole word because it already popped out here. But if it doesn't pop out in your case, then just type in the whole name of the app, which is once again, Downloader. Click on it, and here's the application which you need to download. But that's not it, we also have to set it up, and we're gonna do that by tweaking some settings. So go to settings on your device, and then click on My Fire TV. And here we we'll have to go to Developer Options, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we we'll go to Install Unknown Apps, and make sure to enable that option for the downloader. However, there is a chance that you are not going to see the developer options here by default. And that's okay because developer options are hidden on some Fire Sticks or Fire Cubes by default. But it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and click on the middle button on your remote for seven times. And do it fast. Let's do it. As you can see, now at the bottom it says No need you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you just go back a bit, you will finally see the developer options here. So once again, just turn on the ADB debugging and make sure to enable this option for the loader. So what it does, it allows your loader to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the Amazon App Store. And that's a must for us if you want to jailbreak your Fire Stick. So now that we got the loader downloaded and properly set up, we could actually start using it. But there's one more step which I really recommend doing before accessing the loader. It's of course connecting to a VPN. I do really recommend NordVPN because we got a great app for Fire Sticks. It's super fast and it's not expensive. So what we do with a VPN, we just select any country. It really doesn't matter which one we select because it has the same encryption level on all of them. So let's say we select Canada. Just click on the middle button on our remote and boom, we are connected to a VPN. So from now on, all our internet traffic is encrypted. So basically all your details or your data stays hidden. From now on, your internet provider doesn't know what you're doing online. Your landlord doesn't know what you're doing online and nobody knows what you're doing except for you. So once again, using a VPN is not mandatory, but I really recommend doing so, especially if your country has some strict laws on accessing content online. And if you want to get a VPN, you can use my link in a pinned comment below this video. If you use it, you'll get one month of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. Now back to jailbreaking. Next step is we open the downloader app. Then you're going to see such a search bar here. And there we just need to type Aptoy TV. Type it in and then press on go. Then the search results are going to open and you have to click on that one, tv.aptoid.com. Then the official website of Optoy TV is going to open. Then you just scroll down a bit until you see that download Optoy TV button. Click on it. And now the download has started. Click on install here in the right bottom corner. And then before actually clicking on open, we click on done. We are doing it this way so we could delete the installation file because we don't really need it anymore. But it clogs the memory of your Fire Stick device which we really do not want to do. So always delete your installation files after your apps are installed. Click on delete here and delete once again. And now if you go to the list of apps on your device, you will finally see the Aptoid TV. Open the app and here you'll see lots of apps which you can load to your Fire Stick for free. So literally there's thousands of apps in each and every category. And that's the easy way how to jailbreak your Fire TV Stick. 